Hi everyone, this is John from Motionworks.net, back with a short Cinema 4D tip for you. And this one's all about customizing the Pi menu or global pop-up menu. You can access that menu by hitting the V key. And you can see I've already customized mine to include many of the modeling commands, including the HB modeling tools, scripts, which I find extremely handy, and having them accessible here saves me a lot of time. So let me show you how to customize this menu so you can include some commands that you use a lot and have them more easily accessible. So first thing to do is come up to the window menu, choose customization and customize menus. Click on M editor and choose global pop-up. Now there doesn't appear to be any way to create a sub menu from scratch. If I click on one, I can say new sub menu and I'm gonna name this mesh normals because I'm going to add some of the normal commands. Now come back to the window menu, choose customization, customize palettes. I don't need this window, I'm just going to drag this out of the way. Come over to the mesh menu and choose normals and just break that off. Now I can just click on align normals and drag it in and drop it. Reverse normals underneath that. Now if I want to put a divider in there, I can just double click, click on one of these, copy, come back into here, let's close this guy, come back into here and paste, just bring that below there, grab this one, drop it underneath, and this one. Okay, so that's all finished now. So I have to apply that and importantly, save all changes. When I first did this, I added everything in there. It took me about 10 minutes, then I forgot to save it. And when I went back to do the work, nothing had updated. So definitely save all changes. Close that up. And now when I come back and hit the V key, there's my mesh normals commands. So that's the technique for updating the Pi menu. Add some commands that you use a lot and you'll save some time. For now, this is John from motionworks.net. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tip.